Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Fantasy RSPS and today you will be covering a massive update that has just dropped on the server. Now before we get into that, as usual, I will be hosting a nice giveaway of 10 of the new Gauntlet keys two of the grand satanic boxes and three $100 bonds. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is type YT in YouTube. My video will be able to pop up here. If you go ahead and click on that video, you will be able to click the join button from the giveaway and then you can type the code noobs991 just like that. And that will be the code that you will have to use to enter in today's giveaway. So as usual, let's kick things off with the actual forum update log. So fantasy game updates, the new gauntlet raid, completion escape, new superior bosses, dino companies and so much more has been added. Now since this update actually took a little bit longer to, uh, than expected to make, you guys can also claim a free reward in game, which is as you can see right here, a dream orb. You can just do it by typing Kong Kong reward dream orb just like that. And the dream orb will give you a 1.1 times damage boost, experience boost, 500% drop rate and 250% double drop rate. So definitely make sure to go ahead and claim that straight away. Now moving on to the superior bosses. The four best bosses in the game now have superior versions of them as well. I'll go ahead and check them out in game in just a minute as well. Let's just go ahead and cover this real quick. So on the teleport, of course, you will be able to find them on the teleport list at the bottom right there. Um, you will have the superior instance um, token that you'll be able to use to get into the superior instance. And then you will have these NPCs that you'll be able to kill. So let's go ahead and check it out in game. So let's go ahead and check out these new bosses. Now it does cost quite a lot of money to actually go ahead and unlock them. You do need some 1 million fantasy coins. So if you want to teleport to them, as you can see, you need to unlock it first, which will cost 250,000 of these 1 mil tokens for the Witchling Mage. It will also be the same amount for the next one, which is going to be the, um, what's it called here? The Ballistic Brute will also cost 250k. The Wicked Warrior will also cost 250k. And then the final one the satan uh, satanic side bearer this one will actually cost you a total of 1 million of these 1 million fantasy coins now actually going over some of these bosses starting off with the witchling mage i can't untack it unfortunately yet because i don't have a 15k um, kill count in ardent magicians but if we go ahead and check out the drop table right here we can get the witchling armor set one in 124,000, which is extremely rare but if you can get some of these pieces of course they are really strong and um, of course you can get some more coins creation tokens and boss tokens from this as well now moving on to the second boss if we go to the bossing teleports we got the ballistic brute so the ballistic brute as you can see will have the uh, minigun right there if we check out the drop table on this one pretty much the same regular drops but then the ballistic armor set same drop rate as well with the minigun right there and then to finish it off we have the third boss which is or the third regular boss i would say which is the wicked warrior as you can see right here if we go ahead and teleport to him once again he will have the same drop table but of course with the wicked armor set instead and the wicked whip as well now you will have to kill a bunch of these npcs i believe it's ten thousand in total of each of these three bosses to actually be able to attack the satanic side bearer so let's go ahead and teleport to him but as you can see you need a lot of kill count in different npcs and then you'll be able to check him out now checking out the drops as you can see he will also have the same drop table for the regular drops and then the satanic armor set with the weapons as well which is super op if you can manage to get that now unfortunately i don't have any instance tokens so i can't go to the superior bosses themselves but let's go ahead and move on with the next update so the completion escape has also been added to the server which will require 120 in every single stat in game now the equipment bonus can also be viewed within the items i'll show that in a second and it also has a 40 percent damage in the cosmetic slot which is very nice now some additional benefits which you can see from max at the home area is that you will get three times season pass experience three times trivia points double slayer experience double voting rewards and double achievement progress as well so that is absolutely amazing because it will help you achieve all of those goals a lot quicker now i'll go ahead and check that out in just a second let's go ahead and check out this as well the dinosaur companies these are really interesting in my opinion Now the egg is obtained from various shops and offers that you'll be able to get um, but as you can see there are multiple dinosaurs that you'll be able to obtain some are more rare than the others and um, of course they will be better the more rare they are now these will actually be shoulder pads as you can see from this gift right here so these can be put on your shoulder with some additional benefits which i'll check out right now 
Now, if we go into the caves in column column um, items and we scroll all the way down, we will be able to find the completionist cape right here. Now, the first thing that I found really interesting is the drop rate has 10,000% drop rate, which is insane. It also has plus 431 million stats for melee bonus, which is absolutely amazing 0.6 seconds attack speed i don't think the attack speed and the hit amount um do anything with the completion escape as it's a cape slot but having a 10 000 drop rate and all of the damage that is absolutely insane also you have the alpha completion escape which is even more insane um as you can see right there now moving on well, let's go ahead and talk about some of the companions in this tab right here i have 20 of these dinosaur companion eggs which you can open up to get some of the dinosaurs now, as you can see, you can hatch it just like that and you'll get this nice little animation. Your egg is hatching and then you'll see which pet you'll be able to get. I think this is absolutely amazing, by the way. It looks so cool. It's like a mystery box opening, but a lot cooler. And uh, I just got myself the cyan dinosaur. I actually want to check out which ones are the most rare ones. So the dinosaur companion... Um, companion egg as you can see cyan dinosaur one in one so it's the most common one we want to get the rainbow the purple the um or the epic versions rather it's uh, purple and cyan here as well and then we got gold and the rainbow so that's what we want one in 200 chance will we get it in 20 eggs probably not but you never know if we do get lucky can you quick open these you can but i'm not going to do that for just now let's go ahead and open up another one here hatch and please give me that rainbow um dragon or um, dinosaur rather uh we got a green one once again a common one i'm gonna open up five just like this and then we'll move on to open all of them to hopefully get one really sick dinosaur that would be dope uh the white dinosaur also a regular one i still believe this animation is freaking sick i have never seen something like this in rsps which is beautiful another white dinosaur um come on let's hatch this one as well and after this we're also going to look to the stats of these dinosaurs real quick and let's see another cyan dinosaur i'm going to quick open these 15 remaining ones and did we get ourselves any epics that's purple purple magenta purple green white cyan we got more magentas but they're all regular i don't have any um, epic ones unfortunately anyways let's go ahead and check out items just like that and let's go to the new companion section right here or it's not actually new but check out the new dinosaurs so let's have a look here purple dinosaur has a 500 drop rate bonus which is not too bad and 10 percent damage increase the epic one here is double of that almost uh, with the damage per, uh, increase of 15% and the 1000% drop rate. Let's have a look here um, a bit down. We should be able to find some more. So the epic version is the same. I believe all epics and all regular ones will be the same. And then we need to find the rainbow one as well. I don't believe it's in here unless I've missed it. But the rainbow one is probably going to be absolutely crazy. Now next up we got the voting spin wheel that has been added to the server as well. Now voting on a rune locus will reward you with one spin wheel reward. You'll be able to try your luck towards some super OP items that you'll be able to get. Of course these chances are very rare. But if you do manage to get lucky enough to get one of those, that's absolutely amazing. I'll open up a few of those in game in a second. As you can see they also have added the spin wheel right there. Now the super OP item that you can get is the entangled bow and it looks absolutely amazing as you can see now here we have the voting wheel in game as you can see you can click start on there and then you can consume your voting wheels that you have now as you can see you will have a chance of getting some of these items i'm gonna just spin it real quick and we'll open up five of those in total and we'll probably get the bow because we are a youtuber rng and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and stop right there that was a bait and a half i actually thought for a split second that i managed to get that bow on the first ever spin that i do Anyways, let's move it on. We got four more, actually, three more after this. As you can see, we just got ourselves 30 minor satanic boxes. $100 bond on the first one as well, by the way, is not a bad reward. I wasn't talking about it because I, um, I, I was so staggered that I didn't get the bow there. Also, 500 evolution goodie bags. Also, a really nice reward. 500 bags that you can open up for free. 30 more of those mystery boxes. And to finish it off, let's see if we can get a bow on this one. And I believe we're going to get... 100,000 creation tokens that's actually a really good reward as well so definitely make sure to go ahead and vote straight away so you can also open up these voting wheels 
Now I do actually have the Entangled Bow in my inventory as you can see right there. It has a nice little effect on it as well and it looks really cool. Of course this ghost is in the way which is also a new update which I'll go ahead and cover in a second. But as you can see the bow is right there. Let's go ahead and check out the stats. And um, I believe the stats are already combined with my armor so it's not going to be accurate. Let's go ahead and check items and see if it's already on there. So weapons and then we should be able to do range uh, style here as well and let's have a look if we scroll down all the way to the bottom entangled bow 8.5k drop rate bonus and 951 million range bonus that is insane now staying in the spirits of voting, the vote streak loot also got a nice little buff. You can also get these voting spin wheels um, in the um, vote streak as well now. And also the vote NPC follower. You probably have seen it already throughout today's video that this ghost has been following me, shouting that I should be voting. Now this NPC will bug you until you vote, which is just highly motivating you to go ahead and vote for the server, which does help out the server a lot so it can grow and get more players attracted to it. Now we are noticing that at least 50% of the players do not vote while they are in game and hopefully this will help out with that so you guys can get some more votes hel um, helping towards the server grow. Now this is extremely important as is mentioned right here as well. Once you go ahead and vote from the ghost he will go away. So I just went ahead and voted, so let's go ahead and claim our vote rewards. As you can see, we just got ourselves another one of these spinning wheels. We can enter the lottery here as well, but that's not what we want to do. As you can see, the ghost is now completely gone, which is super nice. And I will spin another wheel to see if we can get the bow this time around, which would be really sick, but of course that ain't gonna happen. Now moving on, we got the Cape of Raiding. Now bear with me guys, I know this update is or, or this video is already taking quite a long time, but we still got a lot of things to go. This update is absolutely massive. Now the Cape of Raiding will give you double raid skis from every single raid. You will get better bonus than the Trinity I Cape and then also double season pass experience when completing raids, which is beautiful. Now speaking of the season pass, season pass 5 has been released. Of course, you will have a regular free version and a premium version as well. Now the final tier reward is the season pass zone teleport which will be able to teleport you to this Mysterio area and the Mysterio set which uh, is a, com a cosmetic set which will do 25 damage increase per piece in the cosmetic slot so that's something that I'll be um, equipping real quick. Now it will also dissolve into $250 worth of bonds per piece if you want to go ahead and increase your total donated amount. So now that we are back in game, let's go ahead and equip this into my cosmetic slot. The Mysterio armor set, which will give me a 25% damage boost per piece, which is beautiful. And we also have the Cape of Raiding, which I'll just go ahead and equip. And this should be really OP. As you can see, my stats just went up by a crazy amount as well. So that is absolutely beautiful. And now we can get on with the new Gauntlet Raid. So starting off for the Gauntlet Raid, we got the new items, the Gauntlet Shield, which is the new best in slot shield that can be obtained from the Gauntlet Raid, of course. Moving on, we got the Gauntlet Shaft, which is a new special attack weapon. Now this weapon will have all the benefits that you would have from the special attack weapon from the Dicellos Raid, but it is actually better. The one hit bonus from the special attack will actually last 60, uh, 60 seconds instead of the 30 seconds from the other raid. Now the, uh, the drop rate of this item and the double drop rate bonuses will also last for all the kills made within 15 seconds after activating your special attack, which is beautiful. Now the Gauntlet Orb, as you can see right here, this will double your Gauntlet Dust from the Gauntlet Zone monsters, which is always really nice because that will mean that your grinds are going by faster. Now you also have some accessories right here, as you can see. These are the new best and sold accessories. Obtained from the Gauntlet Zone, of course. The Gauntlet Eye can also be obtained from the Nightmare Zone, the Supreme Chest or the Gauntlet Raid itself. Now regular Gauntlet can also be created in Tier 19 creation, which I'll check out in just a minute. Now before we go over the armors and the weapons and all that good stuff, let's actually check out the raid itself. The gauntlet raid can be started after unlocking, uh, unlocking it with the creation in tier 19. So it's very important that you have a high creation level and that you will be able to unlock it. I already did this, luckily for me. Now as you can see, it will take quite a lot of supplies. I'll check it out in game in a second as well. Now you'll be teleported to this lobby after you unlocked it and in here you'll start or you will be able to start the actual raid. Phase 1 is just a regular boss kill, nothing too difficult, to get through with it, easy enough. Phase 2 he will actually switch his prayers ever so often so you will have to uh, take multiple combat styles so you'll be able to um, encounter those prayer switches. 
Now in phase 3 you must stand in the green square to be able to attack him. If you do not stand in the green square, you'll be able to heal and he is unattackable, which means that you'll have to pretty much reset that phase. Now in phase 4, as you can see, this will have the mechanics of phase 3 and phase 2 combined in once. You'll have to stand in the green square, plus you will have to do two combat styles. So ranged and magic would be preferred because then you can still stay away from the boss, staying in the green square as well. Now I'll go ahead and do some of those raids in a minute and hopefully we'll be able to smash through them. Now the chest loose, as you can see, completing each raid will give you a gauntlet key and of course some experience. In the Nightmare Zone shop there is a scroll that will give you double keys if you want to as well and the cape of raiding will also give you double keys. Luckily for me I do have that cape on so let's do a raid and get two keys from that. So we're gonna start the raid any minute now. I'm gonna join a party together with Bugs and with Doc. They will carry my ass because I'm a big noob and my stats are still quite low. However, I do have like best in slot gear, which is really sick. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the party. Currently, we're with three people. I'm just gonna wait until they start and I'll be back to check out the mechanics of the actual bosses. All right, here we go. First wave, as you can see, people are doing a shitload of damage, a lot more than what I'm doing, which is actually insane. We're with more people than I expected, six people in total. I believe now phase one has already been done just like that super easy that was the easiest phase as well this one is where he will be doing prayer switches I'm attacking with range right now but I do have a staff in my inventory for if he protects from range so I can swap to magic now people have different combat styles in here so we will always be able to damage as you can see his HP also increased to 600 bill in phase 2 instead of 300 bill from the first phase. He's protecting range right now so let's go ahead and switch to the staff. I also have to keep an, uh, an eye open for my HP because that can also drop uh, because he will be doing some damage. Anyways phase 2 done we are back to phase 3 where we can do maximum DPS but in here the green square will also be spawning also 900 bill HP for this one which is insane but these guys are just shredding him. I'm absolutely getting getting carried like it's no today but anyways let's go ahead and see where the green square will spawn currently here it is actually i was about to say currently it didn't spawn yet but let's go ahead and move in because we can only attack the boss if we are in the square also we need to eat though because we are taking some damage and we do not want to die of course now as you can see the third phase should almost be done and um, let's move on to the final phase which is phase four and here we will have the green square together with the prayer switches so as you can see we will have to move on to the green square all the way in the back right there meanwhile he will be doing damage to us as well so i do have to keep an eye open for that currently he isn't praying which means we can just max out with a range which is my best dps so far but if he does start praying we will have to switch to magic and the green square just keeps moving which is really annoying because you will have to keep an eye open for that and sometimes it goes by before you're even in the square so like right now it's just absolutely trolling us and now we can finally attack it back but we are out of the square again this is such a troll boss as you can see the green square just keeps switching up but anyways oh let me eat up i was almost dead right there i should keep an eye open to my hp a little bit more we still have 800 bill hp to go it had 1.2 trillion hp in total which is a lot of HP to down but with these guys that shouldn't be an issue at all we should be able to finish it off here in the next minute or something if we can get this green, uh, green square to actually stay here for a little while please god damn this square is the most annoying thing ever but of course it is part of the mechanics it wouldn't be fun if it was too easy either so uh, yeah let's get back in the square and let's finish off this raid please but here we go, we should be able to finish off the raid, he should be dead and that means that we will get ourselves two of the gauntlet keys right there which is absolutely beautiful, so let's go ahead and open some of those. Now before we actually get into that, let's go ahead and check out creation once again because I forgot to cover this before we got into the actual raid. So if we go to tier 19, right here you'll be able to unlock the gauntlet raid token. As you can see right there, it will cost you an energetic staff, you'll have a doom sword, um, you will have the elemental bow, 20,000 dicellos dust from the previous raid, 1 million of these 1 million fantasy coins and then 5 million of these creation tokens. So it's quite a lot of items that are required to unlock this actual raid but of course if you do it it will be unlocked forever 
Now moving on, you also have the uh, satanic armor pieces that you can now go ahead and upgrade here as well. But most importantly, the new gauntlet pieces right here, the gauntlet wings, as you can see, which will cost you Dicello's wings, 100,000 gauntlet dust, 1 million of these fantasy coins, and 80 million creation tokens. That's just for one of the gauntlet items. You have the gauntlet aura, the amulet, the ring right there as well, and of course the arrows not to forget. Now as you can see I got myself 102 keys here so let's go ahead and scroll down we should be able to find the gauntlet chest let's actually check out the rewards first so we can get a gauntlet imbu at 1 in 10,000 so it's super rare to get this of course gauntlet shield which is the best in slot shields you can get the gauntlet orb the gauntlet shaft and the uh, cape of raiding here as well and for the rest you got some filler drops right there so let's go ahead and open some of these up i'm gonna start with opening one at a time for just like five keys until i hit 95 i'm not gonna get anything lucky i believe so let's go ahead and open all the rest and we did not get any rare rewards unfortunately but we did get some really cool items like some bonds some goodie bags and so on of course, there is also still the gauntlet zone that we haven't actually explored yet. This is the zone where you will kill these little hostile scorpions and these will drop gauntlet dust. So you'll need the dust of course for the creation but you'll also need the dust for the gauntlet zone shop as you can see right there where you can buy the gauntlet um, guardsman kill which will cost you 15 billion of these fantasy coins. So that's quite expensive but you should also have a shop I believe where you can spend this gauntlet dust. So maybe I should have started with this, but on the forums, the gauntlet zone, as you can see, you will need to grind this out for the new accessories. To enter it, you must wear the shield, which is the new best in slot shield, as I mentioned earlier, that you can get from the keys. Now you must kill the scorpions to collect gauntlet dust. With that dust, you will then be able to spawn one of the bosses clicking the entrance if you have 250 dust, which is the gauntlet guardsman right there. Now if you have a look at the gaunt, uh, Gauntlet Guardsman, which I'll do in a second in game as well, you should be able to see that the drops on here are the Gauntlet Armor pieces. Now alternatively, instead of grinding the zone, you can also bind the Gauntlet Boss for 15 billion GP per kill, that is what I saw in the shops just now. So with that being said, let's go ahead and climb into the area. Normally this should be it, right? If I go ahead and climb into the area right here, spawn 250 or use 250 gauntlet dust to kill one of these guardsmen. If we check out the drop table, as you can see, you can get the gauntlet keys, you can get some more dust, drop rate scrolls, you can get, of course, the arrows, the amulet, the gauntlet wings, the gauntlet aura, and the gauntlet ring. I have some of those in my inventory. And then you have the imbue, ga um, gauntlet imbue here as well, which you can use on these items to imbue them to make them even more op 331 million in stats and that goes up to 431 million if you imbue them Anyways, I know it has been a long video already. Not all updates have actually been covered in today's video. If you want to check out some more of the updates, check out the forum log for yourself. Also, make sure to check out all the updates in-game. With all that said, this is where I will be ending off today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash like button, subscribe if you didn't already. See you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.